stem changing verbs are a very common type of irregular verb. They're irregular because they have a spelling change. Now this spelling change that we're talking about only happens in the present indicative, or in other words, the present tense. Present indicative, fancive for present tense. So let's talk stems. What is a stem? Well, the stem is the root of a verb without the ending. So let's say you have a verb in Spanish. If you take off the ending of the infinitive, what you're left with is the stem, and that's the part that will have some changes. So again, it's the leftover part. So for instance, if you have the verb, let's say, hablar that we want to work with, we would take off the ending, which is AR, and you're left with hable. That is your stem, hable. It's kind of like if you have a flower, your stem is the root or the base of the flower supporting everything else. Verbs are kind of the same. The stem supports your conjugations. So let's talk a little bit more. Why do we have these? Well, we have some changes. Really, we have them in order to help pronunciation and make it easier and more smooth when we say our words in Spanish. We have four kinds of stem changes that can happen. We have O to UE, E to IE, E to I, and U to UE. These two are the least common that you will find. But which vowel do I change? That's a great question. Let's take a look. Here we have our stem changing verbs list. Remember we need to memorize the changes and memorize the verb endings for your conjugations. So we have our first category, O to U E stem change verbs. They include almorzar, to have lunch, costar, to cost, dormir, to sleep, and poder, to be able to. Jugar is to play, like sports or games. That's our U to U E. Notice there's only one of those. E to I E, entender, to understand. Pensar, to think. Preferir, to prefer. Querer, to want. And empezar, to start or begin. Then we've got our last category, E to I. Servir, to serve, repetir, to repeat, pedir, to ask for. Notice that the vowel that's going to change is highlighted. Take a moment to pause the video and write these down on your own notes. Reglas, your rules. Well, we know there's four of these verbs, four kinds anyways, and we have to memorize which verbs change in the first place and what type of change they have, if they change. The steps include remove the vowel that changes. So if I want to change an E to an IE, I got to remove it. Replace it with that new vowel, IE. What if there's more than one of that vowel? Like in the verb preferir, there's lots of vowels. We're going to change the vowel that's closest to the ending, or it's the last vowel in the stem. Like preferir, we would choose the second E because it's the last vowel, letter E, right next to the ending. Let's talk about conjugations. So, the thing to keep in mind about these stem change verbs is the changes only occur in some boxes of your conjugation chart, not in all of them. For instance, nosotros and vosotros do not have stem changes at all. So they will not change any of the spelling. That's why they're nicknamed boot verbs, because if you draw the verb chart, the shape of where you would make these changes falls in sort of a boot-like pattern. So they're called boot verbs for short as a nickname. Your actual conjugation is normal, so your endings are going to stay the same as they were before. Remember, normal endings. Let's talk about an example of how to conjugate one of these. Preferir is an E to IE stem change verb. I have that memorized. So I would become prefiero, prefieres, Prefiere, preferimos, no change, because we're outside the boot, preferis con acento, and prefieren. So you'll notice I took that E and changed it to an IE in the boot shape. That's a boot verb for you.